we at ICAW, like WWF, have been really strong advocates that we need to have a nature positive, net zero and just transition. I think some of that understanding and architecture around nature positive isn't yet there. So we've got those global goals, but they are not yet very clearly translated into what businesses can do to achieve those goals. And there's a big gap between that sort of operational level of businesses. So we need to sort of bridge that gap and start to define how we're going to get to those goals at the national level. If they need inspiration, we've got a whole set of films called Save Our Wild Isles that looks at how nature is underpinning our economy in the UK and gives lots of examples of how businesses are tackling this problem and how they are engaging and working with communities to capitalise on the opportunities this provides. And our strategic partners, we're accounting for sustainability and the Capital Coalition. We're very much in the space of creating the sort of learning materials that get our, our members and the accountancy and finance profession to the table. What do you think the, the role of the profession is? So I think transition plans open up an interesting opportunity because to work, I think they have two requirements. One is that some element of those transition plans be easily measurable and comparable across businesses so that society or shareholders or NGOs or government or regulators can judge how well a company is doing in terms of its level of ambition and in terms of its delivery of that net zero transition. So that's one thing where we obviously need the help yeah. of accountancy. We also need transition plans to be quite uh, creative about how a business is going to support that transition. How is it going to support wider societal change? How is it going to undertake a wide range of activities that will really fundamentally probably yeah. change its business model going forward in order to deliver net zero? Yeah. So that all requires quite a lot of help, I think, in terms of defining how to credibly make those kinds mm. of plans and commitments and do that in a way that shareholders and others can trust in that information and judge it to be a credible commitment. And I think there's a huge role for accountancy in helping with that as well to give it the rigour and the, the sort of robustness of approach that it needs. One of the things I love about the transition plan framework, and it's the same thing that I like about TCFD and TNFD, is that they're almost not disclosure frameworks. They're actually these, these whole strategic frameworks that take you through a process. And I'm reminded of that process that Business for Nature and Accounting Sustainability and, and others came up with, which is sort of Act D, which is, you know, assess, um, commit, mm. and then transform, and finally disclose. So it's tying it into that whole process that starts with businesses doing something. And I like the, the, your answer, which is, in, you know, kind of like our members can be, can be agents of that change. Mm.